Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video very quickly because apparently we're invading and I'm the bait. Pause it if you want to look into it. But oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, apparently we're invading and I'm the bait. So obviously Darius is a lot of the time look for 1v1 fights in the early game. So he in theory will come and that's what we're kind of banking on. <laughs> Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I yeah. found my hate in the fire. Wait here. Darius is a lot of time going that bush. Oh, we're actually in bed. <gasps> if we just waited! If we genuinely just waited, he was on his way. That's why I was like, why are we going down? Ah. Wow, that was really smart. Nocturne took fear level one. Damn. It's going down. I'm yelling to me. We got a move. We got a damn. Spit me out. In the sky. Forever. Why would you go Dark Harvest and then Barrier? That's a contradiction. I can't. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, 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 I missed one. So again, this is a matchup you've got to respect to Darius's lane phase. I'm not going to get every bit of farm and just accept it. People that don't accept every bit of farm, that's when you end up feeding. Obviously, there is a strategy that you don't accept that, and that's the Thousand's Law. I'd say that only works on one certain amount of champions, which is very few. And two, that's only if you manage to get literally like 10 CS a minute. Oh, really? So apparently this Darius is a one-trick Shaco. Learning Darius. Shaco's pretty good in the meta right now, though. What? I understand if a one-trick was like, oh, my champion sucks at the moment. I'm going to play something else. Whoa, Bessie. What the hell are you doing? That was insane. He was never going to kill me. Gotta be careful of Ghost. And I heard that sound. Well, that's what I've always thought about one tricking. Like, people must just get bored. Oh. I've got TP. Hopefully I get a gank. A gank would make a big difference right now. I don't think it was massively worth it for Darius. He's probably feeling pressure that he's like, I have to get kills because Gangplank will outscale. But if he gets another kill from it, maybe. But mm. We'll see. As I said, this is a big advantage lane phase for a Mr. Donkey. He bought no sustain. Really? Trust nothing to chance. Deserves a knife. I'm here to stop. Darius doesn't know what he's doing. He could have killed me easily. He popped ghost and didn't go all in. I have no idea why you wouldn't at that rate. Very odd. 
This should be a free kill. Tried to time my cue for the kill. <laughs> Damn it. I tried. I tried. An early kill for me would be insane. I honestly don't know what he's doing. Like, he ghosted. I was dead. Like, 100% dead if he just went all in when he ghosted and he ran away. Uh... Again, I think we can just... And it's the thing. He's a guy that's clearly learning the champion. I guess we just put it to that. I think that if that was an actual Darius player, I think I was dead. Can you just help me settle an argument? Would you say the 2015 T1 team is better than 2013? No. Older T... Like, it depends how you want me to answer the question. So, if the 2015 T1 team played against the team, so 2023 T1, 2023 JDG, or 2020 Damwon Gaming, if the 2015 T1 team played them now, like the exact same, like that team's teleported here, they'd get destroyed. Yonk! Nom nom nom. So like the, the the reason for it, by the way, is the exact same. If you take a gold player from 2015 and you take a gold player now, the gold player now would destroy the gold player from 2015. The game has advanced so much, and every year players are getting better and better and better and better. Um, so you can't even kind of really compare older players and stuff. Like the the difference is huge, and that's where like some people. Even with me, obviously I'm in a dip at the moment and I don't know, it's I'm finding it hard to recover the, the account. But even like say me, me from the first year I got master was season nine. I would destroy season nine Huzzy right now. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's the thing. Comparing comparing them to the, the time that they're in is different. So if you're saying like, you know, 2015 T1 was special, they were pr they probably had a skill difference greater to, you know, like the next team, whoever was second back in 2015, T1 was probably much better in a gap to that team than the current teams are to the modern teams too. Like, it, it depends how you value it. That's also a thing within this kind of argument, if you will. It's hard to fully... What the heck? What the heck? You're using double sums roaming mid? And she still got the kill. You don't do that as a Darius. You've just blown double summoners from top lane when you're supposed to be annihilating top lane. That's where the Darius just doesn't fully know what to do. He used Ghost and TP, uh, uh, Ghost and Flash for a kill in mid when he should be doing that on me. And again, here's the crazy thing, and some people have disagreed with me on this, and that's fine. If you teleported, hey, thanks, little Debbie man. If you teleported Season 1 World Champions Fnatic, the same players, the same team, and you just teleported them in time to now, a Emerald, maybe even lower, but an Emerald Flex team would destroy them. I like, just completely. It wouldn't even be close. You just bought a PC? Oh, did, did you use Apex gaming PCs? Just asking, just asking, no pressure. Darius is going to appear in a second. Another. 
Spotlight hasn't moved. Shut down. But why haven't they not moved? One of them. Senna. Damn it. Words mean nothing. Flesh carries. Words. I will say again. If you guys are in the market for PCs, obviously this isn't officially a sponsor message, but I'll just say, like, you know, person to person right now. Um, Ape, oh my god. Apex reduced their prices overall on the website by 30 odd percent, so that's insane. But at the same time, like, um, I'm not officially withdrawing commission because I want a new PC myself, so anything that you guys buy. Um. Anything you buy on my commission, uh, yeah, would massively help uh, eventually to when I'm going to upgrade my own PC. I actually asked how much my PC, how much commission I've got at the moment. So I've officially got about $2,300 in commission right now. Um, which is really good, obviously. But the problem with content creator PCs is they're pricey. So obviously I don't mind contributing a bit to it myself financially because it's a tax write-off. Um, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit more. He just walked into the barrel. Why is he going a team out? I am on Darius, by the way. I just noticed. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. I mean, again, I don't see many Dariuses, but like, I don't, I don't think you'll buy a team item. Maybe you do. Uh, yeah, there's lower end PCs from Apex. I think of, of my partnered ones, there's one for about 800 roughly dollars, and it will play League of Legends at 1080p very well. Darius is on his way. Oh no, he's not. Oh my god, what are you doing? Dude, again, so modern top lane is very greedy about focusing basically just top lane and greeding the lane 1v1 hard. You can just tell that this guy doesn't play top. He's not greeting top lane enough. He ran it to mid at a weird time, and now he runs to dragon when his team is not even going for it. The what? Watch your back. You need to be more greedy. Trying to deny their cannon. Mine's gonna die. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Why are they here? I honestly don't know. Their tower's dead in bot lane. They haven't killed my bot lane's tower, but they've come here. I don't know why. Grubs? It's not Grubs, it's Rift Herald, Nick. But they're doing not very well. The Jan has taken all the, the Zaya's kills. Oh, does she just level up and heal a bit? Oh, that's lame. Oh, that was so good. <sighs> a slow death will be their reward. 
yeah, the one thing I will say with Apex, if you are ever considering buying one, um, by default, they don't offer a lot of storage in their pre-built PCs. So add, you obviously can configure every PC, add more storage. You're not going to try and die, are you? Oh, because they can. Okay. A really weak Zaya can die. Okay, dokey. Gangplank feels okay, but we're also against a really bad Darius player, so... If I was against a decent player, I don't think we get a free, uh, free situation. So I guess we're lucky that we're against, uh... This Darius. Ooh. Oh, barrier. God. This game is a bit sloppy. We scale good, though. At least falls off. Darius. Oh, my, my. Oh, puppy dog. Come here, my, my. You can hear her cooing. She might need the toilet. Let me just go open the door. I'm not FK. I'm not able to. We need to keep going. Why is the Zaya AD carry like rage split pushing bot lane? I don't understand players in league nowadays. Wait, is our support killing her? That's why she's rage split pushing! Because she's doing really bad. Wow, that's kind of embarrassing. As in, kind of embarrassing, that is embarrassing. Crazy. Are you guys... Okay, question of the day, just as a little one. Are you guys enjoying seeing Gangplank again? Obviously, it used to be a Gangplank main years ago. I don't think he's amazing in the game right now, but again, the philosophy sometimes is just play what you enjoy. You know? There's nothing to TP to. Nothing to TP. Well, there's that, but I'm not TPing there. This could be good. You can win this. She's just gonna feather. Yeah. Win, 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 win. Win, 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 win. I think if my team came with me at the same time I went in, we would have crushed it. But I, I don't know if like there was an enemy over here that was like distracting them. It's Darius. Wow. So yeah, I ran in and I was alone. If someone else was there, I think we would have been okay. Still good though. Still good. We take it. Hey! Day two's finally got his Huzzy plushie. So, oh yeah. Some of the Huzzy plushies, by the way, that I've personally sent have taken, I'm not even kidding, months to arrive. That's just crazy. I will, by the way, be doing the final, like, literally the final signed versions of Huzzy plushies very soon and then there'll be no more um yeah i'll be starting to collect kind of that very soon 
So if you are wanting and you haven't had a, a plushie or a signed plushie yet and you'll be like, oh, I'd love one of them. Think about it and I will, I'll soon be doing an official call for like who wants one. I'm charging 50, um, $50 for it, US dollars for it. Again, I'm not really making a profit technically with buying shipping supplies and shipping. Obviously, I'm not a, a crazy company that gets a really discounted shipping rate. So I'm paying just public shipping and it's really expensive. And I knew the moment I kind of showed there. This Darius is so predictable. So the reason why I did my wave clear is because it made Darius run at me. Why are they two manning Baron? The heck is going on, bro? Yeah, Teespring lost the plushies, basically. So if you ordered one directly when we were doing the official campaign, they lost the plushies that were heading to Europe or Australia. And there's nothing I can do about it. Damn, man. Lame. Um, so yeah, it really sucks. They lost obviously like lit uh, quite a lot. So if you've ordered one through Teespring and you've never had it, contact them obviously for a refund. I've let people know this for months, but some people haven't done it yet, I think. Okay. If I was the enemy team, I might have actually considered literally doing the Baron. But it's quite a close game. It doesn't feel like this game is close, but it is. How is this game close? I guess she's three and seven. There we are, Galopa. I'm going to play like modern top laners, by the way. The thing with Gangplank is you get to help fights while being a modern top laner. But I think I'm Gnar. Terrible. Genuinely, every time I see a Gnar on my team, it makes me sad. Because like he wins no matchups and is just useless. And it's sad because I do like Gnar. I think he's a cool champ. I just think he's awful. In the modern game. See if I can get this red. And stealing buffs, remember, past especially 20 minutes is amazing. Because it gives your buff uh, gives the buff to your whole team, and that means the whole enemy team is missing out on red buffs. Do not sleep on stealing buffs nowadays. It's very good. He wins Jack's matchup. Honestly, I doubt that. He might make Jax annoyed in lane phase, but then eventually Jax will get to a point that Nar will be able to do nothing. Hey, Rowan. I mean, I zoned the whole enemy team, to be fair, but still, that was a weird Darius blow. Um, I mean, if you are certain rioters, they will say Nah has a terrible kit. 
I think, is it August who designed Nar? Thinks it's actually his biggest mistake as a designer. See you later, Galopa. The problem with Nar has, he's always fundamentally been really weak against all in, and that's basically top lane nowadays, is crazy all in. Oh, I played that well. Huh? <laughs> Where's my pen to kill? <laughs> You know what that play just reminded me of? You know that song, the elephants march one by one, hurrah, hurrah. That's what the enemy team just did to me. They all just ran one by one. Oh. Well, there you go, GG. Maybe, maybe it's, there's something onto this playing stuff that I just enjoy playing. Uh, Bambox, way, two year sub club says officially two years club. Huz, thanks for being your genuine self. You're an amazing human, much love. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you very much, dude. Ooh. I've not played Gangplank in ages. I think that's actually the first Gangplank game on the Huzzy account this year. I'm also going to go check on my dog. I left the back door open in the garden. Hopefully she's not escaped. That does worry me sometimes. Um, Nocturne. Well done. So, plus 18. Well, <laughs> that's so bad. Um, We go 11, 4, 8, 20.7k damage. Pretty good game. And yeah, quadra, quadra kill to end the game. So very nice. That's how you play top lane a lot, especially gangplank. But anyway, that's going to be it. I'm going to go check on my dog. Do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.